again. Chicken Walker Friends and welcome back to Scott Wonders World. It's Tuesday. Tuesday afternoon. I um, hope you're all well, how you're keeping. Did you have a nice weekend? Uh, we had a nice weekend. We've had a couple of rough weekends, me and Wanda. So it was nice to actually have one. Um just having a bit of fun. We had a nice date night, stayed in on Saturday night with um a cheese board nice cheese board with some couple of beers and then Sunday we um met up for a couple of beers with our friends um Roger and Michelle and Pete so that was nice as well so yeah um hope you had a nice weekend be less videos in the week going forward I think I don't know every day was getting monotonous for me it's probably getting monotonous for you as well so we'll cut back a little bit um I hope you enjoy the content something a bit different did the the one about the shed and the the memories it holds for me and wonder uh a lot of the things that you don't see with the stuff on the ceiling so all the stuff with music and gigs that we've been to uh disneyland um uh, beer festivals and just stuff i actually missed something below this table and i meant to show this I completely forgot there's an old antique style um radio uh this was my dearly departed mums actually um and i absolutely treasure this and i completely forgot to put it it still works don't we keep it out here there's no real room for it in the kitchen or anything but yeah i um, absolutely love the radio i completely forgot to put it in the video so yeah um hope you enjoyed that video that's such a good view so thank you ever so much to everybody that's um watched it uh, this video is an unboxing video so my good friend the man with a blue van he sent me a message saying he's sending some beers to be fair i wasn't really paying attention he talks that much twaddle that i don't know what's in it he probably i think he has told me i can't remember the last thing that he sent um was this actually uh, Hugo's new dog bed. This was very decent of him, I thought. So, I thought I'd wear that one there. Take it off Hugo's bed for a minute, give him a break. Still no money in it, though, is it? So, yeah, he said a couple of beers, apparently. I've no idea what's in it. Um, don't think you ever so much. So, we'll have a look together. He's probably pinched them, to be fair. He ain't gonna pay for them, is he? Tons of shit. Ba -ba -ba. Came today, I think you only posted him yesterday, so that's very quick, isn't it? Very quick indeed. What's this? Sales coming. Rubbish. And we have two beers. Two beers in the box. One. Two beers in the box. Never play with knives. Well, unless you're a knife thrower. In that case, you got me. Uh, from Round, Cor Round Corner Brewing. Uh, first one is their Frisbee Lager. Uh, coming to 4.2%. I don't know anything. I don't, can't remember if I've had anything from Round Corner. Uncommonly good beer. Named after a village just to help sell Melton Mowbray. Uh, and not the throwing disc. Frisbee is cold matured. I'm hot because I've just had a shower. So my glasses are steaming up. Uh, cold matured and cold filtered to create smoothness along with a, dr a crisp a dry finish skill and patience make this internationally renowned lager an absolute joy to drink especially whilst basking in sunshine other frisbee is optional i can't think i've had anything from round corner unless it came in like a beer 52 box or something like that super um, cold fermented but round corner melt and mowbray they, just, they must be just up the road from from day then and this one is a cherry wheat beer i do like a wheat beer um this is coming in at 5.2 percent and this is their witchery uh we are always proud to treat our own path tread treat 
tread our own path with this, but with this wheat beer, we've wandered quite far off the beaten track. Witchery has been brewed with a copious amount of cherries that accounts for 5% of the fermentable sugars. <coughs> Excuse me. Bursting with flavour from these American droops, this beer is more than a little bit different. Light cherry, orchard fruit characters, meld with tangerine aromas from mandarina Bavaria hops, delicate with hints of almond, cherry bakewell and confectionery sugars that build to a slightly tart dry finish. That actually sounds quite nice. Um, I'm probably going to do both of these in the same video. That's how I roll. Um, yeah, um, thank you very much, Dave. Um, I'll put this back on Hugo's bed so that he um, doesn't miss it too much. Because obviously, it makes him nice and cozy and warm. Um, but yeah, thanks, Dave. Appreciate that. And then um, I'll get them reviewed. I think I'm going to do, do them in a minute. Actually, and uh, stick it all out within the week. I'm off to do uh, another video now. Inside, in the house, might have wonder in it. Might not have wonder in it. But it might. Um, yeah, it's all good. Um, hope you've had a good week. Hope you have a good rest of the week. Stay safe, look after each other, be kind. And me and Wanda, oh, there's a thumbs up if you like the, the video. There's a thumbs down if you don't. There's a subscribe button if you're new here and you like this load of old rubbish. And me and the lovely Wanda, we'll see you very soon. <laughs> bang, bang. There's Cactus Jack, I'd say.